See, jumping with the regular season champ ducks. We got runs and bunches of them. Luke Rittenauer, a nasty hesitation, part of a 10-0 duck run. Rittenauer had 18. Then here comes USC, Brandon Granville to Jerry Dupree. Go get it. Part of an 11-0 SC run. That's one of Granville's 10 assists. Later, ducks up two. Frederick Jones, oh, that's tasty. Young fellas, fun to watch. Part of a 16-2 duck run. Now, a 14-4 Oregon run that ends the half. Desmond Farmer there with a little double clutch. Wearing a headband, that helps. But in the second half, Sam Clancy. Big fellas said they wanted Oregon. They lost a couple of close games to the Ducks this year. And then, Mr. Kent, you can watch Sam come out of the side hatch to the rim. Clancy, a big game for the Pac-10 Player of the Year. And now, one more time, Dupree, all ain't number to ultra firm. Part of a 25-5 USC run, and they win it. Outscoring the Ducks 26-10 in the final 11 and a half minutes. All six Trojans who scored were in double figures. SC 22 of 22 from the line made it tough for Oregon to come back. Sam Clancy had 16. Freddie Jones led the Ducks with 20. He was 4 of 8 from three-point range. Cal, Arizona, the other Pac-10 semi. Cavs beat the Bears both times during the regular season. Time winding down in the first half. Will Bonham, go ahead and take that shot. You're open. Three on the uniform, three in the scoreboard. Cats 59% shooting in the first half, led 47-39. Second half, Shantae Leggins. Brian Weathers, as long as you're up there, yeah, go ahead and think. 22 for Weathers. Cal down eight. Later in the second, Arizona up 10. Walton, oh, yeah, cut to Bynum. Nice. Arizona up 12. Still in the second, Cal down 11, not giving up. They came a long way. Got to earn the per diem. Joe Ship had 25 points. Cal within nine, but a little more than three to play. Walton. You know, you got glass up there. You might as well use it smooth. He had 20. Jason Gardner, 25. Arizona wins at 90 to 78. So now they have won three games against Cal this season by a combined total of 66 points. This one actually close. Cal has lost seven straight games to Arizona, 10 of 11. And for Arizona, they have won 11 straight Pac-10 tournament games. That dates back to 1988, a stretch of 44 years. So they will meet USC in the championship final as they go for their fourth consecutive crown, although separated at some point. The Trojans, their first appearance. It's the rubber game of the match because they split the regular season series. Come back to the garden now. Big East. Amika Okafor, he's filling up the stat sheet. He had 7.6 assists, five rebounds. UConn up one. Ryan Humphrey working tough in the paint. He had 21 and 16. Notre Dame down one. Second half. Watch the pass from Humphrey. He just sort of swats it down low to Harold Swatigan for the lay-in and the harm. Irish down by two. Later now, Huskies up one. Tony Robertson had nine points, and these are one, two, three the hard way. UConn up four. 6.30 left. UConn starting to stretch it out. Johnny Selby, who had 16 with a big jam. UConn up 10, and then Johnny doing a little mad face. The kid's doing the mad face. You know how that goes. Huskies continue to roll along, winning their eighth in a row. They'll play in the Big East Championship game for the ninth time, the fourth in the last five years. Ben Gordon has a couple of great efforts back-to-back. -back. 19 versus the Irish, 23 in the quadras against Villanova. Chris Thomas, incidentally, for Notre Dame, had 24 points and 10 assists. Miami and Pittsburgh, the Panthers won the West. Brandon Knight, his brother Brevin Knight, gonna like what he sees, which is up top to Julius Page. Pit up three at the half. There's Brevin. Miami's main man, Darius Rice, had some trouble. Look at him. He's 6'10", getting muscled by Page, who's just 6'3". It's all about tenacious D. That's what it's about. Second half, Rice well stepping done. outside. Couldn't hit from deep. He was 0 for 5 from the field. Later in the second, Pittsburgh up 7. Knight again. Throw it up top to Page. Yeah, run it again. Knight ties the Big East tournament record with 14 assists. Miami not going down quietly. Elton Tyler. Tips home to Marcus Barnes. Miss career high 30 for Elton Tyler. After Miami three, Canes down three. John Sammons drives, but that, oh, that uh -oh. one gets away. That is not the T.O. you need, baby. 76-71. Pitt wins it. Panthers into the championship game for the second straight year. Knight, 20 points, and then ties the tournament record with 14 assists. So that's a direct hand in 48 points, or 63% of Pitt's output. And Rice fails to scratch for the first time this season. Nada, donut, zero. White chalk, dust, vapor, zero. Came in averaging 15 and up. Big East bracket down to two teams. Top do in the second round of the conference tourney. That game was 21-20, so let's employ that strategy again. Slowing it down. Look at Carolina just passing around. Open three. No, we're just going to keep throwing. <laughs> Burn up some clock. This is equivalent of taking a knee, I guess. Didn't always work, because here it's turned over. Daniel Ewing's got it. Matt Doherty's crew down. Six at the half, 28-22.
Second half, Carolina down 10, eating more clock. Adam Boone going to use up all 35, and then off oh. balance, bank, thank you. Heels down only seven, but just two of 11 from three, which means as well as they shot, they were 13 of 18 from two. Carlos Boozer foul there on Chris Lang. Heels down seven. Jason Capel can't handle it, and there's Jason Williams. He's got that one. Duke up seven, next possession. Chris Duhon, Williams, and far away. Spots up in that spot. You get three. He had 20, and Duke does win it 60 to 48. After giving up 93 and 87 during the regular season, Carolina slowed it down, but not enough to spring the upset. UNC took just 29 shots, made 51%, but turned it over 17 times compared to Duke, who shot 39%, but just three turnovers. Gary Williams in Maryland hoping to get past Florida State. Helps when you got Juan Dixon. Maryland only up one in the second half, but that would change. Steve Blake so dangerous when he shoots the ball, he hits the three, and that starts it off. Juan Dixon, the heart and soul, he hits a three. Drew Nicholas on the run. Off glass, good, and the foul. Then Dixon, baseline J. Then Lonnie Baxter, who somehow was second team all ACC. Part of a robust 21 to nothing Maryland run. Everybody on campus was heading to Bentley's to begin drinking in earnest. <laughs> and then Florida State. Well, this typifies a day. 0 for 4 from about point blank. 0 for 13 during that 21 nothing Maryland run. Steve Robinson beside himself. Maryland taking another step towards the program's perhaps first ever number one seed in the NCAA tournament. It's 13th win in a row. Terps coach Gary Williams said we didn't play our best, but obviously Florida State had something to do with that. Juan Dixon closing in on Len Bias as the school's all-time leading scorer. He led four Terps in double figures. Florida State shot 30% for the game. And after the game, Florida State coach Steve Robinson spoke of the difficulty of seeing kids leave the program, and it appears he may be on the way out as well. ESPN has learned the school could announce a firing as early as Monday. Robinson's mark on the court is 64 and 86 with one NCAA appearance. Off the court, however, he has been widely praised for the manner in which he has run his program. More ACC action from the evening. Georgia Tech, Antoine Scott, what do you have? Oh, man! Hello, Mr. Scott! <laughs> Man, you all have to go home, but you've got to get out of here. <laughs> I hear you, Brad Doherty. I like that. I wish you could do the rest of this highlight. He could do it better than me. Josh Howe with a little finger roll. Wake up 13. Second half, wake up by five off the loose ball. We got a scrum, and then Howard's going to find Craig Dawson for a lay-in and one. Wake wins it by nine. Virginia on the bubble, North Carolina State, Grandma's knitting knee. Anthony Grundy, Roger Mason Jr., what do you got here? Well, oh, this is sneaky, off the guy's back. Josh Powell wasn't watching, Mason throws it in. He had 24 points, 57-50, North Carolina State. Second half, NC State still upset. Oh, my. That's Alien deep. effed him off. He was 4-5 of five from deep, had 15 points as a team. Grundy going to fire it away. They were 13 of 18 from far away. That's 72%. They win it 92-72. ACC working its way towards another Duke-Maryland meeting. Regular season champs have NC State in the semis. Terps won by seven on the road, 16 at Cole this season. Duke swept its two meetings with Wake, averaging 96 points against the Deacons and winning by 23 and 29. South Carolina, Kentucky. Well, now. That's inside. That's a nice pass to Rolando Howell. South Carolina led by eight at the half. Second half, more Gamecocks. Aaron Lucas falling away. So smooth. South Carolina up 10. You know, you don't want to let the smooth taste fool you. No, don't let that happen. Here, Kentucky, ice cold. Keith Bogans missing three. Tayshawn Prince going to load up again. Combined, Bogans and Prince, 7 and 22 from the field. Mm. Kentucky is 1 of 19 from three-point range. And, yeah, Steve Robinson, Nolan Richardson, you saw Tubby Smith. Bad week to be a former Tulsa coach. South Carolina snaps a 12-game losing streak against Kentucky, and it's only the second win ever against UK away from Columbia. Dave Odom's first career win against the Cats. So the chalk not faring too well here. Billy Donovan's Gators have never won the SEC tourney. Justin Hamilton trying to help him out. That goes in. You can't see it. It's behind the ref. Gators led by three at the half. But then Timmy Bowers, explosivo. Bulldogs up eight. And then Timmy Bowers just taking over. All 17 of his points come in the second half. Mississippi State wins it by 10. Bulldogs avenge a 28-point thumping in Gainesville. Gators shot 20% from three, 31% overall. Curious to see what seed they're going to get on Sunday. Mississippi State, meanwhile, 24-7. and seven. Rick Stansberry, as I mentioned, got all 17 of those points from Timmy Bowers. Timmy! In the second half. 
Welcome to the Rod Grizzard Show, third team All-SEC this year, reminding folks why he was first team a year ago. That's three, and uh, stick around for a while. There's going to be plenty more. He was four of 30 from three in his last 12 games. Coach Gottfried said, players just trying to get the ball in his hands. Yeah, as you can see, Grizzard, yeah, he's got 12. Everybody else, they got none. 16, how about, how about another three? Grizzard laughing. What else can you do? He was hitting from... From Peachtree, he takes it in the lane. He had 18 straight points. Tennessee said, man, we should try to check him a little better than that. Grizzard had 33. And after being held to 20 first-half points in their embarrassing loss at Mississippi last week, Bama had it cooking. Of Rod Grizzard, Tennessee's Vincent Yarborough said simply, he's flammable. Grizzard had six threes in the first half, matching his total for the last 13 games. Bama hadn't won the SEC title since 87. Tennessee misses postseason play despite Yarborough's best efforts. He's going to be a good pro. Some more action. LSU, Georgia. Drama late. Ezra Williams from three, no good. Then we got a big old pig pile. People falling down. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Jermaine Williams going to flip it to Brad Bridgewater for two of his 14. And there was joy, but it was tempered because the game wasn't over. LSU up two. Ezra Williams, who had 27, missed his first free throw, misses the second free throw. Now we got a foul. It's one and one, and Charlie Thompson on the bench. Ugh, he's scared because Dupree is one of four from the line for the game. There's a miss. But then again, we got another pig pile. Ball all over the place. Pick it up. Do something. LSU runs out the clock. Wasn't pretty, but John Brady's pretty excited because Dupree and the Tigers from the Bayou still have aspirations for the big dance. So this is what it looks like. There's a movie on Sunday night about this guy who now coaches <laughs> Texas Tech. I don't know if you heard about it. I did not know that. You got Nate Downey for Tech. He's going to miss. But Andy Ellis is there with two of his third team, and Eddie Sutton was forlorn because the Cowboys weren't, weren't doing much. You can see Powell, he was 8 of 13 on the night. That's high off the glass. Well, this is huge. I'm just ruining Rafter. I'm sorry, Bill. Onions. Uh, Andre Emmett, he had 23. Tech cruises by 22. You got Roy Williams trying to beat Colorado for the 27th time, and Colorado cooperated. They turned it over five of their first seven. Kirk Heinrich kind of lost the dribble. He might have dunked, but he laid it in. Kansas is up early 12-2, and it looked bad for the Buffs. Jeff Boshi now steps out from deep. Kansas way up at halftime by 18, and then Heinrich, he's going to hit one of his four second-half three-pointers. He had 18 in the game. Kansas now up 29. They got a lot of weapons, do the Jayhawks. Gooden with a spin, and that is tough. He had 18 in Kansas. No trouble for the nation's number one team. They're a buzzsaw. Leading scoring team in the land. They break their own Big 12 tourney record for points and top 100 for the 11th time this season. That's a school record. Jeff Boshi, the Big 12's career leader in three-point shots, was five of eight from deep. Buffs, well, they had trouble. Kansas is indeed a handful. <laughs> More from the Big 12 tournament KC, OU, Kansas State, Oklahoma ranked second in the Big 12. Juan is white to Jabari Brown. He had five, Oklahoma seven. Honey, can we just go home hey. now? <laughs> Later in the second Jesus. half, Oklahoma not in a game. Jason Dietrich laying it in. You got to finish off underneath. That's fan. Oklahoma up 11. Heavily medicated, you'll see. You just because you got to handle March Madness. That's a and sometimes guy. it can overwhelm you. Well, you know, it's a pretty good game, though, I thought. It's long day in Cameron. Darian Selvey got the three pointer. He had seven. Oklahoma wins at 63 yeah. 52. <laughs> OU shot 32% for the game. Turned it over 12 times in the first half and won anyway. Why? Rebounding, rebounding, rebound. 54 boards. One shy of the tournament record. 28 on the offensive glass. The Cats had a total of 30. Missouri and Texas. Kansas City, Missouri, of course, a neutral site for the Tigers. Kareem Rush. Oh, yeah. He is an extra good Tiger. Not sure that was your classic stand up and shoot it, but he had 33. It was 6 3 after the free throw. So, Texas, the shutout is gone. Second half, 58 54. Texas, TJ Ford and Deginald Erskine. He had 15. That was in close for two. 61 54, 78 70. Texas. They shot 53% for the game. We got a steal, and we got a steal back. TJ Ford, Ricky Paulding, Ford back ahead to James Thomas. Final 89 85. Texas, your winner. Here's how it shakes out with two games left. Texas Tech will next try to stop the Jayhawk load. Kansas, winner in all 17 of its conference games. Red Raiders going to have to try and win four games in four days to win this title. Minnesota rematch. First half, Illini. Corey Bradford comes off the screen of Ephraim Winters and Ken Norman. Run the double stack. Illini by 11. Later in the first, Illini by 14. Bradford stripping Dusty Reichert. We saw the faraway three-point play, and that's a little more traditional. And the foul. 
although Bradford missed it, but she, she had a good game. Tremont, Bradford 18 points in the first half, on his way to a season-high 25, and the lay-in. Illinois wins it 92-76. Fast start. They hit their first seven shots, and after a mid-season slump, Illinois has now won nine in a row, played so well in the first half that Frankie Williams didn't even take a shot the first 20 minutes, hoisted just one after intermission, missed that, but still had 11 assists. Iowa-Sconson, Badger seeded first in Indy, late second half, Iowa down three, Luke Recker got it. Recker 14 in a row for Iowa, big streak by him, pulls him within one. Reggie Evans misses, Duez Henderson puts it back, and he's fouled his first field goal of the game, three-point play, a Treyes for Duez, we're tied at 56. Devin Harris getting sloppy, turns it over. Iowa, we're going to get a timeout right here. Bo Ryan cannot believe it. D it up, boys. No problem. We'll get it to overtime, except Luke Recker says, <laughs> Iowa defending tournament champs, working it again. Steve Alford happens. I didn't think that they would allow me to have that good of a look. I thought maybe they'd send another guy at me. I was hoping and praying he'd get the last shot. I went by what they gave me, and luckily it went in. Iowa wins at 58-56. Hawks get the last five points. Record stout 28-24 in the second half. Badgers, one of four teams that shared the regular season conference title, but do not make it to the final four of this tournament. Go Blue and the Buckeyes. Ohio State up five. Brian Brown misses, but Terrence Dial is there to put it back in. Ohio State up seven. It's not like beating a school from up north in football, but High Street would be happy if Ohio State could win. And Tommy Amaker's club hanging in. Chris Young, nice layup, but late. Slobodan Savovich inside of Brian Brown for two off the window. That's going to seal the deal. Ohio State moves on. Meanwhile, Indiana with Jared Jeffries wearing an ankle brace. Struggled in the five games since he hurt the ankle, averaging only 8.6 points. Looking a little tentative early. Get it net down low. Gets it stripped. Get off the nice touch pass from Jeff Newton. Got to flush that, Jared. He only had three points in the first half, but then he gets things going in the second half. Tom Coverdale who had seven assists, a great pass, and does that do anything for you? That's Levitation, Holmes. Here comes Jeffries, little mini hook. He had 14 points. The Hoosiers get their 20th win of the season and move on. Indiana coach Mike Davis told his team, let anyone who's watching see the hardest playing team in the Charlotte, Cincinnati, and kids, it's just a little lesson in learning to live with rejection. Oh, <laughs> show me Thomas from Donald Little. Thomas then got a, had an open look. Nope, there comes Emmanuel McElroy flying through. Little had five blocks in the night. Let's show you what in slow, in slow motion makes it look even worse for the poor guy that got it. We'll leave his name out and save him some embarrassment. Late second half, Cincinnati up by 11. Little, he can score two, not just preventing points, but making them on the follow. At 16 to lead the team. Cincinnati wins at 71 55. The Huggy Bears make it three wins, all by double digits, over the 49ers this season. Cincinnati does it without much of a game from star Steve Logan, who scored just seven. 29 wins matches the school record. Tom Green and Marquette looking to put an end to Houston's upset bid through the Conference USA. Dwayne Wade, dude, that's TNT. Marquette out early, end of the first half. Wade to Cordell Henry, give and go, and go get it, young fella. Marquette shot 57% from the floor in the game. They were up 11, up 20 at one point, but here come the Cougs. Brian Shelton with two, part of a 12-0 Houston run. This team was supposed to be lousy, but they battled hard all year. They got 18 wins, but they weren't going to win this when Wade had 18. That's a dagger there. Marquette ends up winning by a dozen. Point guard Cordell Henry, not the star of the highlights, but he drives this team. Henry had 27 points in the game and has played in 77 of the 18. 80 minutes of Marquette hoops in the past two days. Nervous minutes for Marquette fans. Cordell turned his ankle, but he said, I thought it was worse than it turned out to be. Marquette moving on to face Cincy. Round three may not be Frazier Ali, but they split the two games this year. They were both super games. Conference USA figuring to have a couple of awfully high seeds come Sunday night on the selection show. Let's talk about the A-10, shall we? Sure. Xavier and Dayton, David West, dunk. You get two points when you shoot. West, 21 points, Xavier up five. Less than a minute, Xavier up four. Romain Sato, and look at that. We call that the members bounce. Xavier advances to the A-10 championship, 66-59, where they will play the winner of LaSalle Richmond. Second half, Richmond up three. Jeff Myers doubles that. He had 18 points. Richmond up six. Just over a minute. Richmond up four. Scott Unger. I didn't stutter. That's three more. Richmond 12 of 29 from three-point range. Spiders win at 68-60. Bring on the X-Men. In the back. 
Bowling Green, Ball State, Keith McLeod dominating the second half. Coming off a pick, springs himself free. He hits a three, Bowling Green up 10. Late second half, Bowling Green, six point margin. McLeod, one more time. He had 24 of his 36 large day in the second half. Bowling Green was a 69, 57. Fight on Falcons. Toledo, Kent State. How about a little golden flash from Andrew Mitchell? Hits the three at a game high 26. Kent State up 14. Antonio Gates, Antonio in the paint, lost that one, got Kent State 17 straight victory. They win at 86 61, winning big. The WAC tournament on Tulsa's home floor. Tark bringing Fresno State in. First half, Dante Swanson up and a foul. Good for the home team. Tulsa up 10. Later first half, Fresno still down 10. John Phillips, watch out for Mustafa Al Sayed. He turns to pass, except Fresno got it. Oh boy. Mike Brown was there probably though. Shark thinking about the old days of UNLV. Second half, Tulsa up eight. Greg Harrington. Now he threw it from a long way, but he aimed at the yeah, basket the a lot better when you do it that way. Harrington finished with 25. Tulsa wins at 81-65. And next up for the host school, Hawaii Warriors. Hammered Nevada 90-68. Peja Savovich, 29 of his 31 in the first half. Six three-pointers. Bad matchup for the Hurricane in the final. They have lost both games to Hawaii during the season. And last year, on their home floor, they lost to Hawaii in the final in the NCAA bid. Holy Cross and American, your Patriot League final in Washington, D.C. Five minutes left. Holy Cross. Brian Wilson banking it in for the Crusaders. They're up four. Buck 40 left. AU down to deuce. Andres Rodriguez sends the crowd in Bender Arena into Bedlam. Chaos off Mass Avenue. David Aldrich hoping his alma mater going to make it to the dance. But AU down three. Glenn Stokes with a miss. He had a chance to tie it. Holy Cross, your Patriot League champions. They win at 58 54. They're back in. They gave Kentucky a scare last year. And the Crusaders join the list of those dancing. And, John, you know what the Barquets used to say? There's no parking mm -hmm. on the dance floor. All these teams certainly going to be watching Sunday night, secure on the knowledge that at least one more game awaits. MEAC Semis, Howard, Delaware State, and we've got some problems with the horn. Maintenance comes out with a ladder. Oh, you mean that horn way up there. We're going to have to take a walk on the catwalk, and they finally turn off the horn. And then we've got this. Miles Davis. Oh, gosh. That's a blue note, folks, just like Miles. That's in the man region. And there's nothing you can do for that fella in public, OK? <laughs> nothing. Then we got Howard. They don't care about what happened. They take it to the rim. They win at 60. UNLV, Utah tied at 59, just over four minutes left. Luke Kelly for three. UNLV on an 11 to three run. Just under a buck 30 left. Rebels by seven. Jeff Johnson going to make the three and is fouled. Utes down three after the four point play. Next UNLV possession, Marcus Banks drives, dishes to Vince Booker, and give me all three of these. UNLV at home wins at 76 to 70. They've won six straight games, 12 of 14 overall. Dalron Johnson at 21. The Utes have lost in the Mountain West semis three consecutive years. They're 0-4 versus UNLV in postseason play lifetime. They're going to meet San Diego State because Al Fox had 20 points his last two games. The Aztecs a one-point lead over the regular season champ Wyoming. They held on, and they advance to play in the finals. West semi San Diego State, Wyoming, Al Fox, the dish to Randy Holcomb, who hits from 18 feet away. San Diego State by one. Next play, Marcus Bailey. Bailey looking for space. His shot short. San Diego State gets the loose ball. And Sanders is fouled. Fox celebrating because his team won the game by one. Congratulations, San Diego State.